Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Hello, welcome. This is a full body hit to finish out week four of Rebel. And listen, I know week four has been something else. It has been seriously tough. The legs have been tired, but we made it. We've made it more than halfway through Rebel, and I just, I just need to hug you right now. So let's just have, yes, a big hug, awkward session, because that's what we do here. <laughs> no, anyways, high five if you'd rather. But today's workout is going to finish out week four. I'm getting confused now because I've been all about week five now with all the planning and everything that's been going into that. But we're finishing out week four. This is the last strength session. Last strength session, if I can talk. <laughs> and we're going to make the most of it. So we're going to get right to our warm up. Welcome to the workout today. I am so glad you are here. I've seen some, uh, some cold weather notes in the chat. And uh, yeah, we're going to get warmed up right away. So let's start opening and closing. We're gonna bring the heart rate up a little bit more in this warm up as well, just because this is a HIT workout. So instead of just warming up the muscles and the joints, we wanna bring the heart rate up a little bit as well. But we're gonna use our dumbbells today. That's the only equipment you'll need. I'm gonna use light dumbbells. I'm gonna use my 2.5 kg, that's about six pounds, and my five kg, which is about 11 pounds. Widening our stance here, we're gonna take it and reach side to side and tap it out as you reach. Trying to reach a little bit farther with each tap. We'll do two more. Here's two and one. Wide here with the toes. Toes turned out in a sumo squat. We're gonna go down and up, down and up. Good, make sure you're squeezing the glutes at the top here and squeeze. Now bring it up on the toes as you lift and lower down into the calf raise as we come up. Good, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna reach those heels to our bum. We're gonna start out nice and slow, and then if you wanna start picking that up even into a more plyo hop, you can do that to help bring that heart rate up. If you're not adding the hop, just try to pick that pace up. But if you're adding the hop, we're side to side here. Eight more. Four, three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna take it and we're just gonna turn, going into a lunge, holding it. You can bring that knee down and then bringing it back up. Good, and bring it down, stretching it out here and then back up, walking it center, hold it for just a second and across to the other side, taking it down. And up, good, getting the hamstrings warm here, hip flexors, march it back to center. Now slowly rolling up all the way. We're gonna bring those knees up, opposite elbow to opposite knee here, breathing. So starting out slow, and then we'll pick it up just a little bit with our speed, warming up the core, warming up the shoulders the lower body. A few more seconds in this warm up. Working timer is going to be set for 30 seconds for each exercise. We have a total of four rounds. Let's start picking up the pace just a little bit here. With the first three rounds, we have a total of four exercises. We repeat twice and round four is all about abs. We have three exercises that we'll work through. Rest timer will be set 20 seconds and in between each round, we have one minute. Three, two, one, good. Let's shake it out. Get ready for our first exercise, which is going to be a hammer curl. Again, with hit, we're gonna work a little bit lighter in the weight and work on speed while maintaining our form. So grab a weight that's gonna challenge you, but not slow you down. After that hammer curl, we're gonna go into a squat pulse to shoulder press. So it's just gonna look like this. Squat down, two to shoulder press. Pulse it out to shoulder press. Then we're gonna do a push up, and then to finish it out, we're gonna do a sumo glute bridge pulse. So grab your dumbbells and let's begin. Whew. Working for 30, you should feel the heart rate up. I am already breathing heavy. So here we go, 30 seconds, hammer curl. And I am so excited for week five and six. So if you 
are going to commit to week five, you've got to commit to week six in Rebel. If you haven't signed up for Rebel yet and you want to, never too late, but week five and six are going to go hand in hand because whatever muscles we don't work in week, week five, we are working in week six. Whew. Breathing, a few more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Breathe it out, 20 seconds to rest, and we'll go right back into that. Adjust your weight if you need to, whether you need to go down or up. You still want to get a little bit of burn in that bicep muscle by the time you get to the end. So if you are going, start your watch. Did you put that up, Jason? I just thought about that. My watch beeped at me. It told me I needed to calm down. But I'm like, wait a second, I'm working out. Well, whatever, I'm on the core one. Here we go, 30 seconds. <laughs> still keeping that good form though. Keep those elbows tucked in. You don't want your elbow to come forward. Once you, that elbow comes up and forward, you're gonna start working that shoulder muscle. That's not what we're here for right now. We're all about those buys. Whew. 10 seconds. Six, four, two, one. Whew. All right, going into that squat pulse with a shoulder press. So it's gonna be, let me just show you one more time so you can get the timing here with the, the pulse. It's gonna be one, two, press it up. One, two, press it up. So it's gonna look just like that. <sighs> Breathing it out, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat, pulse, and press. Pulse, pulse, press. Good, working at your own pace though. You can be going faster than me, slower than me. <sighs> Whatever you're doing, just do it with good form. Good. Halfway. Chest stays up. Good. Eight seconds. I think we got time for one more. And shoulders on fire. Yep, sure are. Whew. Breathe it out, adjust your weight if you need to. Anytime you need to dry off, grab a drink, do it. Also, I'm gonna mention next week, we are gonna use the sliders, we're gonna use our chair, we're gonna use our booty bands. So, just to, if, if you've been like, hey, I need to buy those, don't forget to buy those. You don't have to have them, but, it, what am I doing? Squat, squat, press, that's what we're doing. Squat, squat, press. But if you are looking at getting those things, whew, this will be the perfect week to do it. Whew. And press, keep that core engaged and press, good. Breathing, exhale with that lift, and one, good. Breathe it out, now we're going into a push-up. So you can do the push-up on the wall. If you'd like to modify it that way, you can bring it down, either way, we'll probably bring it down to the ground to do it on your knees or on your toes. Whew, breathing. Remember, if you're working to get them on your toes, always do at least one or two on your toes and then move to your knees when you need to. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you push that floor away from you. 20 seconds. Again, hit style, so speed is coming into play right now. But still working to get that full range. So glad week five did not have chest in it because, oh, my chest would be on fire. And one, oh, press it back. Hey, good news though, I gotta tell you this. The cycling workout, because we've been working so hard with HIT this week, the cycling workout today is not as intense as our usual workouts. Hopefully that's good news. Hopefully you weren't like, I wanna be going crazy on the boat. Well, you can still go crazy, but it's gonna be a little shorter than usual. All right, let's go again. Here we go, 30 seconds. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> Come on, push it out, breathe. Squeeze that core, squeeze the glutes. <sighs> Even if you're on your knees, you can still keep the glutes engaged. Four, two, <laughs> and one. Oh, 
All right, now we're gonna flip it on over to our backs. We're gonna do a glute bridge pulse. So if you wanna grab your weights to add a little bit more, grab some light weights to add on, and we'll bring it onto our backs. I'm gonna face this way actually, so I can see the timer. So this is gonna be a sumo glute bridge. So bring those heels, toes at an angle here. Getting ready, sorry, the mic, here we go. And pulse it out. Breathing, squeeze the glutes, right in between that full range of motion right now. Not too low, not too high. Breathing. Core's working, glutes working, hamstrings, quads. Heart rate is up. Five more seconds. Here's three, two, one. Bring it down. Breathe it out. 20 seconds. We're gonna go last round for that. And then we're gonna get a minute to recover before we move on to round two already. Whew. I do love my dumbbells, but I'm telling you, still to this day, they leave marks on my pants. Thankfully, it comes out in the wash, but still. All right, so sumo glute bridge position. We're pulsing it out. Good, and squeeze. Don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath here. I know it's burning. What are we at? Almost 10. Oh yeah, come on, 10. You've got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it out for 60 seconds. Yeah, we're, we're at the round. All right, so round two, where are we? We are starting, oh yeah, we can just start back up in a squat. Now, I am not gonna use dumbbells on this one. If you would like to use a light set, you can do that, but it's gonna take all the focus to just keep my form on this one. It's nothing fancy, but we're gonna do a squat pivot. So let me just show you what it looks like first. We're gonna squat down. That right foot is gonna come forward back into a squat, back to center squat. Now, left foot is gonna pivot forward, down, back into center alternating between these two moves. That's gonna be the first exercise two times through. Then we're just gonna do a single arm row. So hinging it, rowing it here, squeezing shoulder blade around spine, switching to the other side. And then we're gonna do a front kick to knee pull, alternating sides. So working the core, getting that heart rate up, and working the legs. So getting ready for that squat pivot. Here we go, squat it down, right leg forward, right leg back. Left leg forward, left leg back. So you can just repeat that to yourself if you need to as we go through this. Because I want you to work at your own pace. Good. Breathing, keep that chest up. Last one. And center, down. Good. Breathe it out. Second round through, are you gonna add weight with that one or not? <laughs> 10 seconds, we go again. You're doing awesome. We are rocking it out. I love Saturdays, you know this. You know this is my favorite day. Here we go again, squat pivot. So down, right forward, right back. Down, left forward, left back. Good. Keeping that chest up. Awesome, almost there. We'll have time to do one more full round forward and back. Awesome, now grab your dumbbell, just one for our single arm row. We're gonna work on good form here. Really think about squeezing that shoulder blade around spine. When we're hinged down, back stays flat. If you have a chair nearby, you can use that as balance, or you can use your knee here, but let's begin. Again, I'm going lighter because I'm working a little bit into speed as well to bring that heart rate up. Good. Don't let your chest, I'm gonna show you bad form. Woo, woo, we're not there. We are here, square. Keep them straight forward. 
Hopefully you can see the difference in that one. Three, two, one. Breathe. Well, this workout has put me through the ringer already. My hair is a mess. I need to dry off. Although I'm gonna tell you what, I felt a little bit more powerful with the woo in the row. So if you feel like you wanna give a little woo as you're rowing, go for it. Felt good. Same side, here we go. A good woo can really change your mind. I'll tell you what, you're in a bad mood, woo it out. <laughs> Let's hear woo. you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Anyone else wooing out there? <laughs> Everyone's leaving. Everyone's like, woo, gotta get out of here. Five, four, three, core engage, come on, two. Woo, we did it again, we're done. We're gonna do that on the same side. <sighs> Jason, I'm gonna need you to teach the cycling class today. I am. <laughs> this uh, full body hit is a, uh, it's, it's the business today. All right, same thing. Same form, same technique, bring it down. Here we go, and squeeze. Remember, not rolling open, keep it flat, keep it square, keep that core engaged. Avoiding that can really help if you do have your arm on a chair or a bench too. But squeeze, almost there, four, three, Two, and one. Breathe, I'm drying off. 20 seconds. All the other HIIT workouts, I'm pretty sure we only had 15 seconds to rest, but today, we got a whopping 20 seconds. All right, let's get ready to go again. Last time to hit that back. So here we go, 30 seconds. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh, he's it. Oh, he's chatting. He's chatting it up with everyone out there. <laughs> he's he's getting a finger workout in, I guess. <laughs> Almost there. Come on, halfway. Come on, squeeze it up all the way down, all the way up. Just because we're moving at a quicker pace, I do not want you to forget that full range of motion with this move. Whew. Come on, five, four, three, two, boom. Blast off. I am doing a dance for you too. <laughs> Cause I almost lost my balance on that one. What do we, oh, this is fun. This is fun. This is what butt kicking is all about. We have got kicks and knee pulls. Oh yeah. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna alternate sides. Front kick, knee pull. Front kick, knee pull. Do your kick wherever your flexibility allows, whether it's here. Maybe you, um, maybe your gymnast days are coming out with the kicks. Whatever, I'm messing up. Front kick, knee pull. Front kick, knee pull, good. Front and pull, front, pull. Halfway, almost there. Let's bring out our inner Billy Blanks right now. Tie bow. I gotta make it even on both sides. And there you have it. Once more through, what? Round two is almost done? There's no way. That means we're more than halfway through this workout because round four is not as many exercises. I gotta dry off. How are we doing out here? I accidentally hit the core button when I started my workout, so I'm just curious if this is gonna change anything. I don't think so though. Going in three, two, front kick. Here we go, front and pull. Front, pull, front, pull, good. Come on, get that speed up a little bit. Getting that heart rate up. 10 seconds. Oop, did that one backwards. No one's watching, right? It's just, just me and my best friends here, that's all. Last one. 60 seconds, please. I said that was the last time for round two. He's still not listening. This is my life, hello. No, I'm kidding. He usually listens, it's usually me that doesn't listen. And then he's like, I told you that. And I'm like, well, ask me where something is and I can tell you exactly where to go for that. I know where everything is. I just don't always listen. Let's talk about round three, shall we? All right, round three is, ooh yeah. So we've got 
a sumo pulse. We're gonna pulse it down for three this time. So we're gonna be in the sumo position, squat three, two, one, with a front raise. You can have a dumbbell. Then we're gonna go into skaters. So you can either tap it out, keeping this low, or you can make it a little bit more plyo with the hop. We're gonna do dips on the ground for triceps, chest flies in glute bridge, and that's that. So grab your dumbbell for that front raise, sumo squat. I'm hurrying here, we got five, we got four, we got three. Sumo pulse to front raise, let's begin. Three, two, one, bring it up, and three, control the weight up and up, squeeze, and squeeze, good. Three, two, one. Yeah, heck yeah. That is what I'm talking, that was, was that the 90s? I think so, I loved it. Oh, no one can hear you. Last one, two, one, and raise. Whew. Doing that one more time. Little side note with the sumo squat. When you come back up with that pulse, as you're lifting the shoulders, think about pushing the hips forward just a little bit into that, squeezing the glutes. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be real good. And then let's get ready to go back into it, because here we go again. Squat three, two, one, raise it up and down. One and up. Don't let your shoulders come too high. Let me turn sideways so you can see. You don't want them flying way above your head. Just, just in line here with your shoulders. And lift, good. And lift. Last one, three, two, one. Boom, we did it. Breathing, now we're going into skaters. Again, this is gonna work the lower body, but it's also gonna get the heart. My arms are so sweaty, my hair just got stuck in my armpit. That is nasty, that is just nasty, okay? Oh my God. Welcome to the Saturday Live Strength where anything goes. Skaters, here we go. So again, modify, take it low, and just tap that leg back. If not, you can add that plyo. Really reach with that either step or hop though. Keep it low, halfway. Core engaged, chest up. This works the balance as well, so make sure this is all staying in one line. You don't want your, your body to be flying past you. You weren't even gonna tell me that we were resting, were you? <laughs> Just go, what, we still have 30 seconds on the clock? How did that happen? <laughs> All right, breathing, let me just adjust my, we have got to figure out something here. This thing just flies around. It's like, I don't know, I feel like I'm on Aladdin. All right, breathing. 30 seconds of skaters. Here we go. Keep it low, chest is up. Come on, last time for this. If you got a little bit more speed, give it now. Over halfway. Dips are gonna be next, so we'll bring it to the ground. If you have a chair nearby, a bed, couch, exercise bench, you can do it on there. I'll actually grab my handy dandy Ikea stool to show you. Hold on. Rest it out. For the next program. Oh, Sarah, thank you for that. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. That is so kind of you. Let me quickly show you these dips. So you can do them on the ground, just like this. Bum down as well. Or if you have a bench or a chair, bring your hands up and let's begin. Breathing. So I, what I, I was gonna mention that for the next program, which camera are we on? The up or the bottom? Okay, I didn't know what camera to look at, so. <laughs> All right. I wanted to make sure I'm making eye contact with you. For the next program, I'm thinking of recommending a step bench because that'll give us a lot of, my hair is stuck again in my armpit, new exercises to work with. Okay, so the, uh, the workout on Tuesday is buys and tries. So my biceps and triceps are not, not, um, not doing well today. But anywho, 
So I'm thinking, you know, you know what I'm talking about? You remember step aerobics? Ooh, yeah, something like that. We're going again? Jason, we're chatting. <sighs> this is what happens. I'll be in a nice conversation, and Jason will be like, time to go. I'm like, no, it's not. I just started talking. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Working on speed if you can. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about, okay, after Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday roll around, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, now I know why she couldn't do those dips. Three, two, one. Great job, great job, we did it. <laughs> okay. Now, goodbye bench. Let me just get that little stinker out of here. It's not quite that. Chest flies in glute bridge. So you're gonna grab your light dumbbells. You're gonna be up here, down, and lift. Lower, okay, okay. Lower intensity, don't do the glute bridge. Just keep the bum on the floor. But if you're going for a higher intensity, here we go. And squeeze. Arms out wide and bring it back in. Good. Keep the weight in the heels here. Even in this position, make sure you are in control. Don't let your knees fall out to the side. Don't let them cave in. Make sure they are still in line with your toes. <sighs> Breathing. Five seconds. <sighs> Three, two, and one. <sighs> 20 seconds. Hey, this is the last exercise for round three. That is pretty wonderful. Then we're gonna hit the abs. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so Monday's workout is the new cycling workout. And then we're gonna have abs and core after that or before it, however you like to do it. Tuesday is buys and tries, and Thursday is hamstrings and quads. So it's a pretty fun week. We are beginning. We're just following the timer, I guess. <laughs> and squeeze. Go, come on, keep those hips up. Don't let them. Don't let them sag. Exhale right here as you squeeze those arms back in. Don't forget the old Pitsky squeeze. There has to be, what's a proper word for armpits? Ar underarms, underarms, your underarm squeeze. That's much better. <laughs> all right, yes, I am. Whew. All right, it's time for abs. So set your weights off to the side. We do not need those. Jason apparently only gave us 20 seconds on the clock to go into abs. Just do one more 20 second timer, Jason. And then we'll talk about abs. So for abs, we are gonna have, we're gonna be back on our elbows here in this position and you're gonna tap the, your heels. Almost like you're jogging it out right here. I know it looks kind of silly, but I'm telling you what, the lower abs are gonna be on fire. Then we're gonna do a heels together, full body crunch, just like this. So you'll bring knees and elbows. Hold on, hold on. Straight toe, so legs will be out. You're gonna reach, 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 reach. So bringing it up here, we're gonna tap those heels. Let's begin. Good, and pull. Come on, squeezing. Keep those shoulder blades, or the shoulders down away from your ears. You don't wanna crunch it up. Still keeping that back flat and strong. Tapping it out. Good, eight seconds. Come on, little taps, don't rest it down. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. We're gonna bring those heels. Those feet together, we're gonna do that butterfly crunch, breathing. So we're gonna bring the elbows to meet the knees. Modification, plant those feet on the ground and just do that crunch. Going in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Get those hips up off of the ground as you lift and lower and exhale. Good, and breathe. Come on, squeeze. What are we at? Oh yeah, less than halfway. Jason, holler at me when we're down, okay? Whew. Five seconds. Three, two, never mind, you don't need to tell me. <laughs> I was too busy looking, I was like, must see the end. Not one second longer. All right, so the legs are gonna be up. If you're modifying, you can keep those legs again planted on the floor. We're gonna reach alternating sides though. 
So double, 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 double. If not, legs are up and we're gonna reach. Here we go, out. Get those shoulder blades up off of the mat. Good, squeeze. Who is so happy right now that the cycling workout is not gonna be 60 minutes? Oh my goodness. But hey, we do have a question for you at the beginning of the cycling workout. So if you hop in the chat early while well, the timer's on, if you could answer that for us, that would be awesome. It has to do with the ride. Last one. Okay, thanks for coming. Thank you for that. Um, uh, yes, I'm wrapping it up. You did amazing. That was, hey, that was the end of week four for our hit strength workouts and you killed it. Let me just say that. I cannot wait for week five. We're gonna have a new worksheet again about our word in there as well. I mean, week five is gonna be, I'm so excited. Meet us for cycling. If you're gonna be there, hop on over to the cycling channel, grab a drink, grab some coffee, grab a snack, whatever you need to do, and we will see you soon. Jason, I'm not done. <laughs> bye, okay, bye. <laughs>